Having a countdown or a visual reminder as to when I need to get a task done can actually be really helpful in my workflow. There's a couple of formulas you can use in Notion to actually get that done, so stick around and I'll tell you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. To start with, we're going to create a database, call it calendar, add the tasks in. I'm just going to copy and paste these down. Now I'm going to add a date property, so when we need to get these tasks done. Going to add in some dates that are relatively close to today. And we're going to add in a task a little bit further into the future. Now the first way and probably the easiest way to do this is by using the date between formula which is where it calculates the amount of days, months, weeks you choose between two specific dates. So we're going to use now which is the date and the time it is right now and then we're going to use that date property. And you can see when you enter that in it's going to add in 1, 0, 0 and minus 1 depending on which order you put those two dates. So you can see the minus one is because it's ahead of today. The one is because it was behind today, zero is today. For those of you a little confused why it says zero for 27 and 28, I'll explain that in a minute. But for those of you that it doesn't bother that much, what you can then do is create a formula for showing. So for this formula, what I'm going to do is actually reference that first formula property. But if you do want to make it just one property, you could just use that formula in this formula. So we're going to see if overdue is bigger than zero. If it is, put overdue. If it's not, then what we want to do is ask it another question. So I'm going to copy that first question, paste it in. And now I'm going to change it very slightly and instead of it being bigger than zero, I'm going to ask if it's smaller than zero. So if overdue is smaller than zero, I've got time to do it. But if it's not bigger than zero and not smaller than zero, then I know it's due for now. So you can see now we've got the overdue, we've got the one that's in the future and then we've got the two that are due to do now. So the reason both of these actually say that they're due today is because the way the formula works is it takes the time. When you look at the time of the two dates, it actually takes midnight of those days. So to get around this a little bit, what we need to do is mess around with the formula. And instead of using days, we need to use hours. So we're going to go date between the date and now, and instead of putting days, we're going to use hours. And as you can see down the bottom, it's now calculating the hours between that date and the time it is right now of recording the video. You could leave that countdown as hours if you want, or if you want to change it into days, you divide it by 24, because that's how many hours are in a day. Then I'm going to times it by 10 and use the round function to round up all of those decimals. And then I need to divide it by 10 to bring it back to the correct ratio. So now you can see the difference between the date and now in hours. But remember, because we put the date and the now the other way around, now the negative is overdue and the positive is got time. Now from this point, you can use those numbers any way you want and put whatever restrictions and limits you want on them. So what I'm going to do is just recreate what we've done for the days. So we're going to round date between that date property Now, show it in hours, divide by 24 times by 10, close the bracket and then divide by 10 and we're going to ask is that bigger than 1? If that is bigger than 1, then we've got time. If not, I want you to ask the question again. Then I'm going to copy and paste and now I want to do is change it very slightly so instead of it being bigger than 1, I'm going to ask if it's smaller than 0. And if it's smaller than zero, put overdue. And if it's not bigger than one or smaller than zero, put due. So now essentially I've just replicated that first formula, but instead of using days, I've used hours and that will change with time and you can put whatever limits and restrictions you want on there. 
I personally would use this type of formula in my to-do list. If you don't know how I do that, check this video out over here and I'll see you there.